This is a quick tech tip for getting subtitles anywhere. I'm using Google Docs in their sheet mode. Uh, so I mean, sheets on Google. And under voice, under tools, you can find voice typing. This is pretty common. I think most people are familiar with dictation. Well, I found another use for it because, where are we? Okay, Deepa, my wife who is deaf, she obviously uses YouTube a lot and they do have their fantastic built-in subtitling. This is Lauterbrunnen, a valley in the Swiss Alps untouched by time home to centuries old chalets. Now, sometimes it's a bit flaky, of course, it's automatic. Sorry. Sometimes it's a bit flaky, of course. Uh, automatic titles have been problematic. Automatic titles have been problematic at times, especially if I say some strange words like Bunnehaven whiskey. Yeah, it's not going to get that, is it? Anyway, let me show you how I've been using this to help Deepa watch some videos on uh, Vimeo, for example. Here's a video on Vimeo, which as far as I know, doesn't have a automatic subtitling system. But if you have it set up correctly, just the sound coming out of the speakers can be picked up by Google's auto translate and have a fair go at translating a video in real time. Let's try it. Stage is condensation. When the air cools down, the vapor changes back into liquid, making the vapor droplets heavier. Next is the precipitation stage. Water falls back to the earth in the form of rain, hail, sleet, or snow. The final stage is called collection. Pretty good, I think. Certainly worth a go.